Soil School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by The Mosaic Company. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soil School. On past episodes, we've looked at the four R's for fertilizer management. The right source, time, rate, and place. On this episode, we're going to look at the four R's for biologicals. I'm joined by mosaic agronomist Braden Lingbeck to talk about how to manage all those living microbes. How do we mix them with starter fertilizer? What's the right application timing? How do we manage that biology to deliver optimum nutrient use efficiency? We'll get some answers. Check out our chat. Now, Braden, producers have worked hard to incorporate 4R nutrient stewardship on their farms. You know, we're now talking about advanced crop nutrition. You know, what are the management um, and stewardship principles required for that with biologicals? Yeah, great question. Um, really, when we look at the stewardship and management of biologicals, we want to make sure we're selecting the right biological for our farm. So um, look at things such as what we're supposed to mix with it, when we're supposed to apply it, and what really uses would it fit on my farm. So really understanding the mode of action of the biological plus how it fits on my farm and really how to steward that to the farm. we got to remember that these are live uh, micro microbes um, that uh, are living and breathing, and we need to mix them with the right starter fertilizer and apply them at the right time and really make sure it's a fit for our farm. Um, to benefit going forward. Um, talk about bacterial colonization in, in the rhizosphere and, uh, you know, and why that is so important. Yeah, we really look at like a bacillus strain as a really good colonizer on the roots and it really just provides a lot of um, space on the root for other beneficial microbes as well. So when we use that bacillus active ingredient, we really see that as, as colonization with the, with the, uh, in the rhizosphere and that really is a home for other biologicals that we can add, add onto that system as well to make a really holistic system um, in that rhizosphere. And why is that important? It's really for nutrient, nutrient use efficiency. And so a lot of these biologicals that are on the market today, inclu including uh, mosaic, is really to unlock that bio, um, nutrients that are in the soil um, and the biology really does that and bacillus is really the start of a lot of that that system going forward um, to provide that home for that higher nu nutrient use efficiency. Let's talk about products you know and um, biologicals obviously you know and there are so many available and you know how do growers know you know what are the best choice for their farm? Yeah, I think as a grower, you really got to ask a lot of questions. There's a lot of people selling micro or microorganisms today. Um, really, what Mosaic has done is done a lot of research on farm and really compiled this data up on, on different soil types um, with a lot of different farmers over multiple years to really all encompass some of what this biology biology looks like in your backyard potentially. So I think a lot ask a lot of questions and and how does this utilize on my farm as well? So um, a trusted partner um, like Mosaic, we've done a lot of that research and we know our microorganisms. Fit. Um, and that's really what we see as an advantage and what we're trying to do um, for the biological industry overall. Yeah. So. Now I want to talk about testing protocols in a minute, but first of all, you know, um, you know, managing biologicals takes commitment. You know, it's simply not one and done. We are <laughs> building a, a growing environment. You know, talk about the commitment of, of, of management and the potential that you have in your soil and, and what type of commitment that takes. Yeah. Yeah, just looking at planting a field just like this, it's it's essentially the same with, with biology. So um, planting it at the right time, um, this wheat field's not gonna come back um, after we harvest it. We really have to keep on inoculating that soil and making sure that rhizosphere um, is really a benefit to us. So it's really inoculating the soil with the right biology. There's a lot of biology in the soil, but it's really picking the right biology at the right rate and at the right time to really flood that rhizosphere um, to have the right beneficial bacteria. And that'll really increase your overall nutrient use efficiency. So that's a lot of this new strains in this biology is, is doing for us um, today. Yeah, you're almost finding a four R's mm -hmm. all over again, right? Yeah, correct. Correct. But just in the soil, um, we think back in the day um, uh, before we started planting crops, people would actually move soil from one field to the, to the next, and they were essentially inoculating the soil. We're doing the same today, and we're learning a lot um, that we haven't known back back. 10, 15 years ago. So um, I look to the next 10 years, we're going to find out a lot of uh, what's going on in the soil, and we've already came a long ways. So. Speaking of uh, learning a lot, uh, producers, you know, need to test biologicals that we've, we've talked about on their farm. You know, are there some, you know, farm trial protocols that farmers can use or should follow? Yeah. I look at um, a strip trial as my favorite. So strip throughout the, uh, the, the field uh, and really strip across variability. A lot of these advantages are, you know, that three, five, 10 bushels. And some of that can be um, really 
skewed based on your variability in the field. So really a strip trial across your field, uh, multiple replications is, is needed. And you can even randomize that block. So uh, the University of Nebraska actually has some simple statistics that you can do on your farm as well too. So some of these uh, micro advantages just really need to be pieced out and, 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 and trialed a little bit more extensively than we have in the past. So. Hey, final question for you. Uh, we've been talking about biologicals, you know, five, 10 years now, and uh, we've come a long way. Um, Tell me about what we might see in 10 years. I mean, a little blue sky here. I mean, maybe uh, new products, new applications coming down the pipe. And uh, hey, and what's success look like? Yeah, yeah. So we're really excited about like um, gram negative bacteria and maybe specifically nitrogen fixation um, bacteria. So the advantage is that we're going to see going forward, there's a lot of pipe products in the pipeline that are really going to be a step up from where we're at today as an industry. So there's a lot of excitement um, that's being done in the labs. Awesome, Braden. Hey, um, some great insights. Really appreciate you taking some time for the Soil School. Thank you.